Walton Eliza Hall Institute is a really great place for postdoctoral scientists to work for two reasons. The first is we want the postdoc to succeed academically. That is, to make big discoveries that end up in papers that have high impact. But we also recognise that not all postdocs are going to end up as academics. And so it's also really important to us to build other skills within the postdoctoral group that we have here. Skills like business development and communications and fundraising and those sorts of things that the postdoc can then take to really lead to a rewarding career wherever they choose to go. Moving here has been just a fantastic decision and uh, I recommend that any prospective postdoc see what opportunities there are outside of where you've been. We're looking to draw postdoctoral scientists not just from Melbourne and Australia but from around the world. The Institute is a really cosmopolitan place to work and we think that that really creates part of a vibrant institute. I came to work here at the Institute because it has a very strong interest in malaria research and it's internationally acclaimed. I felt that this was the best place to be working to not only understand basic science but to also translate into human health. We're particularly interested in how we bridge the gender equity gap and we help female postdoctoral scientists in a number of different ways. We help them with support for childcare if they have kids, we help them with mentoring, we help them build the skills and confidence that they need to take really senior positions in academic science. I've formed long-lasting friendships at the Institute. Working elbow to elbow next to people at the bench means there's a lot of time to have a chat and a laugh about what you did on the weekend and the plans you've got for the rest of the week. So as a postdoc coming to the Walter Eliza Hall Institute, you've got all sorts of opportunities of collaboration, not only within the Institute, but also more broadly within the Parkville uh, precinct, including a number of research institutes, the university and healthcare facilities. The Institute, no matter what level we're looking to recruit at, is really looking for talented, independent people. People that can contribute their skills both to their own project and to broad collaborative projects.